Angus, Galen, thank you for stopping with us. Uh, first question, Angus, for you is, uh, what was it about bringing Buzz Lightyear to, to this new generation of uh, people who have, may not have remembered him when they first came out in Toy Story? I think for me, it was purely selfish. I really liked the character, related to the character, and just thought it'd be cool to make a space adventure with Buzz Lightyear. Uh, and the, the root of it was just trying to make something fun and exciting and adventurous that was while staying true to the character, but finding a new way in to explore some of the uh, hinted at universe uh, from Toy Story. So for me, it was really like what I was interested in doing. Yeah. And, and Galen, to produce this and to really bring, not only does it have a different look, different feel, diff, it, it's, it's completely new. What was it like to bring that type of feature to be able to make it, to update it to where we are today? Well, it's super, it's super exciting to, to work on sci-fi in general. I love sci-fi. Um, and I've always loved the character of Buzz. He's, he's um, very aspirational and very fun to watch. Um, and I think we, we're finally at a place where we can really do this style justice so that you can feel the world, so you can feel like you're a part of that world and, and, and connect with the characters. So it's, it's exciting. It's exciting to be able to work that. And Pixar always does an amazing job with animation, especially over the years. The feel of it looks so different. It feels so grounded and real. I mean, with technology being what it is, how, how much liberty do you have just to take it up to so many other notches? Well, it's easy to make detail. It's more about making, uh, choosing what to show, what not to show, and how to control that detail, and what level your stylization is at for the movie. Um, the technology is a lot of it, but a lot of it is just choices and restrictions putting on the character, uh, I mean, on all of the assets. In a sense, like, you need to make choices of what the stylization is of the characters and make sure they work with the spaceships and the sets. That's all one giant um, aesthetic consideration that, that filters through many departments, the people building the models, the people putting the paint on the characters and putting the clothing on it. It all needs to be one cohesive image. The movie is very cohesive and I'm proud of what the teams have done, um, but it's really such a team effort and a, a metaphor for the film, if you will, of the collected uh, uh, works. But I, I don't know, I mean, it's technology. It would not be possible to make this movie as we made it now, but that's kind of true with all the movies that are always operating at whatever um, thing. I just think this, this, the look of this film is unique, um, mostly because of some of the things that we chose to ch pursue. Yeah. And uh, final question, the voice talent, great, amazing cast and voice talent. How did you bring this cast together? Because this is going to be amazing when people see it. Uh, we'll start with Chris. And Chris was the first actor we went out to. And he came up to Pixar and visited. And we pitched the movie. And he was very excited about it and very much into it. Once we had Chris, then was finding characters that were going to bounce off of his voice nicely. And everyone that we got in the film was a dream come true. To, for their character was really who we wanted. And what they... What they brought to it was they were all just a, a, a list of, of actors we've long admired. And so getting to work with them was a dream come true.